Judge, I'm glad to see someone else is having a day like mine. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, you needed to be here before. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I really hope you're not having a day like mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, or cause case of the people versus Denise Underwood. Conrad Silver on behalf of Pittsfield Township. Ms. Underwood? Yes. Are you represented by an attorney? Yeah. Uh, she, came, she came out of arrangement without an attorney. Ma'am, do you want to be represented by an attorney on this? No, I don't have to. Do you know what you're doing? No. You don't know what you're doing? No, sir. So why wouldn't you want to be represented by an attorney? I'm, I'm, I've been here waiting for her since nine o'clock. Waiting for who? Aunt Anna Wilden, I think that's her name. I believe she's referring to the court clerk. What court clerk? What? Who have you been waiting on, ma'am? The, uh, the person to talk to for about my case, sir. Okay, so who were you expecting to talk to? Um, the, I'm not sure, sir. Okay, so Ms. Underwood? Yes. You really have no clue what you're doing, do you? No. And you realize that the offense that you're charged with carries up to 93 days in jail? I'm not saying that I do that, but there is the potential of incarceration. You understand that, ma'am? Well, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. Okay. So now that you know that, that might be 93 reasons why you may need an attorney. So I'll ask the question again. Do you wish to be represented by counsel? Yes. Yeah, I figured that'd be the answer. All right. This is a public <laughs> defender case. Your Honor, I'm happy to speak with Ms. Underwood. Well, She's already been arraigned on this case. What I'm going to do is I will adjourn the matter out to April 20th, 2022, 9 a.m. Ms. Underwood? Yes, I'm sir. I'm going to give you a phone number. I'm giving you the phone number to the public defender's office. You got something to write with? Oh. Uh, no, just like you didn't have an attorney. You don't have anything to write with. Come on, find some. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna use my phone. <laughs> yeah, okay, go ahead. Use the phone. That's I'm gonna use you my phone. Anyway. All right. <laughs> you ready? I'm so sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna get worse today. So you're all right. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay. It's area code seven three four. Okay. Two 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 six yes. nine seven zero. Okay. Did you get that? Yes, I did, sir. Or you just shut your screen off and are pretending. Which one? I, I got it, sir. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ms. Underwood, we'll see you in a yes. couple weeks. Okay. okay. Take okay. care. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Court recalls the case of the people versus Kago. Mr. Kago, you're still yes, under oath. Yes, sir. You had indicated that you wish to plead no contest to this charge. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Do you understand what a no contest plea is? Uh, yes. Let me explain two things about it to make sure that you understand. The first thing you need to understand about a no contest plea is it means that you're not further desirous or wanting to contest this charge. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. The second thing you need to understand is that for purposes of sentencing, the court is going to treat you the same as though you had pled guilty. You understand that? Yes, sir. So to the charge of retail fraud, how do you plead? Guilty. No okay, contest. Really? Seriously? No contest. Seriously. Sorry. Seriously. Sorry that. So, no contest. I'm sorry. Scratch that, please. Yeah, okay. You understand that by pleading no contest and the basis for the no contest plea? Uh, civil liability. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. For cause case, people versus Melissa on spot. 
And uh, Miss Ansbaugh, I believe, was just taken into custody. I did try to reach out to her by phone. Um, obviously, this may be why I could not reach her, um, but I did not know that she was in custody until this morning. So we have not had a chance to speak. Um, I would be asking for an adjournment. It does look like this is the only case holding her. However, she does have a $10,000 bond. Um, we would just be asking for that to be either uh, converted to a PR bond or lowered so that she would have a chance of getting out of custody. Well, I don't know what you're going to do because I am not going to lower the bond because we have been looking to try to get this matter resolved since 2017, April 12th. So we're just short of what would be five years. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bench warrants. Understood. All right. Um, if we could just get the briefest adjournment possible so that I can speak When's with the next, My next date is the 20th. Actually, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I wanted to plead the case out and plead guilty and be sentenced today if you could just do all that for me. I'm not going to sentence today. <laughs> there is an offer for a deferred sentence. Um, Ma'am, if you did means she'd have to go to probation in any event. Right, um, right. So, but you would still be in custody either way, ma'am. Whether I was sentenced or not. Well, you um, wouldn't be sentenced today, is what the judge is saying. They would refer you to probation and bring you back one more time for sentencing. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm on probation right now, circuit court in um, Lenway County, and I drop once a week. And I also am in um, drug and alcohol counseling and um, have meetings like. How'd you get picked up, ma'am? I've been in Lenawee County Jail for 30 days, and then I came to get straight here. Um, Why were you in Lenawee County Jail? Because I, uh, I I was driving my car without insurance, and I got pulled over, and I had a probation violation there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, you want the 20th? Um, yes, please. That's my earliest date. Okay. Holy flowers. Connor Ed Siller on behalf of Pittsfield Township. This is to public defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Ms. Flower. And ma'am, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? Kimberly Lynn Flower. And there is an offer today for her to plea with a deferred sentence that she would like to accept that offer. Ma'am, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So if you got it. I do. State your name for the record. Kimberly Lynn Flower. All right, Ms. Flowers, it's this court's understanding that you are going to be pleading guilty to the charge of retail fraud under the Pittsfield Township Ordinance. You can put your hand down. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that? Yes. Still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. February 1st, 2022, at the location of 7,000. East Michigan Avenue, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. What do you do at the Walmart store that makes you think that you're guilty? The Listerine did not scan at the at the um, register, and the and I um, scanned some um, I, uh, some on sale items. That I changed the price at the register. No, you didn't. I, well, I I did what the reg what the lady told me I could do. A sales lady. I changed the price. Of, used one to do that. I used one to scan multiple items that were, supposed to be on sale. that were supposed to be on sale. Okay. All right. Let's go to the Listerine first. You you said the Listerine didn't scan. Did right. You, when I. Okay. Did you skip scan it? Pardon me. Okay. Did you not scan the item? I thought I scanned the item, but it did not scan. Okay. So you did not have an, in, are you telling me you didn't have an intention to not pay for it? You, it just didn't scan. Right. Okay. If we could pass with, briefly. Um, well, I'm... with Rick, we might have it with two. Hold on. Okay. Um, the other items that you said you scan multiple items of the same thing? Yes. Okay, ma'am, let me ask you this. You said they were on sale. 
Yes. Is anything that you did, did you switch any price tags? No, I did not. Okay. But the, the price... Is any, go ahead. Go ahead. What were you going to say? The, there were no price... I had the... Okay, the... I... On one. The price tag was on one. I scanned the one price tag for the, the for the one gotcha. on the one for the other items. Okay, let me ask you this: yes. in in doing that, were you at all intending to pay a lesser amount than what you thought should be? Those were that those items cost. Yes, because that's what the lady told me they were. Okay, maybe I asked a bad question. You, you weren't trying to cheat the store out of anything. Like you, no. you thought the you thought the other items that you were scanning. I'm just going to pick a price. Were five dollars, right? And that's what you thought they were. Yes. And you're telling me that you asked somebody at Walmart about what to do. And that's what she did. Yes. Okay. Um, I cannot accept her plea, obviously, to either one. <laughs> so if we could uh, either pass briefly, or if we could have a short adjournment, I'll speak with her further. All right. All right, ma'am. I can't accept your plea because, based upon what you told me, you're not. The court would determine that you're not guilty of anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjourn the matter out two weeks and let you have an opportunity to speak with counsel again on this matter and figure out how you want to proceed. So I'll adjourn the matter to April 20th, 2022, 9 a.m. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Court, court calls the case, people versus Demarcus Parker. Honor Ed Siller on behalf of Pittsfield Township. Um, Amber Harris with and on behalf of Mr. Demarcus Parker. Mr. Parker, if you are present, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Demarcus Parker. Um, Your Honor, we are here um, just for a driving while license suspended. Uh, Mr. Parker's license is currently valid. It is. And Your Honor, if he wants to enter an admission to double parking, I'd, I'd move to add count two. Is that what he wants to do? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Parker, you admit responsibility to the fact that on January 8, 2017, Carpenter Avenue, Pittsfield Township, Washington County State of Michigan, that you double parked a motor vehicle. I actually don't remember, but I don't remember that, honestly. Mr. Parker. Yeah. They're dismissing the count of driving while license suspended and you're pleading oh. to okay. double parking. Okay. Do you recall now on that date that you double parked a motor vehicle? Yeah, I'll, I'll recall. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so you admit responsibility to that? Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, accept it. Carl will accept his admission to double parking. Count one is to say <laughs> fines and costs of $180. He almost blew it. Fines and costs of $180. When can you get that paid, young man? I can pay uh, next week. I can pay next. Okay, any day next week. What day? Uh, Friday. You gonna for, you gonna forget? No, no you, pick, you pick Friday because all right, fine. Pay it by. That's the day. Early. <laughs> pay it by April fifteenth, two thousand twenty-two. All right. <laughs> all right. You take care. All right, you too. <laughs> Or called case people versus Charles Williams. Connor Ed Siller on behalf of Pittsfield Township. Amber Harris with and on behalf of Mr. Charles Williams. Mr. Williams, if you are present, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Yes, my name is Charles Williams. All right, what are we doing on this? Um, Your Honor, Mr. Williams is just asking for um, a brief four to six week um, adjournment so he's able to take his uh, roadside test. Can I take a road test? Yeah. Can he drive? I'm hoping he can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give him the time. You going to pass, Mr. Williams? 
Hey, that's hey, I'm hoping, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> All right, from yesterday, we had people here. Can you parallel park? <laughs> oh, that's a no. All right, just okay. So just try to avoid the cones. Well, it, he I needs about. <laughs> Do you have it set up already or no? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. He's his give him that long. He may have to take it twice the way he's talking. <laughs> have faith, Yana. <laughs> I, I have faith. He's gotta have faith first. He, he's telling me. I'm we gonna pray about it. it. We're gonna pray about it. He got I, it. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him. Practice parallel parking. <laughs> so I'll give you, I'm gonna give you till May 18th. That's where I'll turn this out to, okay? Thank you, Annie. You Thank got you, that, Mr. Honey. Williams? All right. Just, you know, don't hit any of the cones and stay in the lines. That's the best <laughs> I can give you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Honor. That's 11. All right. I'm gonna, did you already do the list? All right. Folks, give me about five, 10 minutes. Take a break. We're going into our next block. The list should be up, and then I'll come back and start calling cases. Court of standing recess. All right. Court calls the case, People versus James Johnson. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Second. Assistant Public Defender, Your Honor, on behalf of, you called Mr. James Johnson, correct? Yes. James Johnson. He is checked in. Where, yeah, I do see his name. James Johnson. And he just left. He's been in and out. Your Honor, I spoke with Mr. Johnson this morning. Um, if we can pass this matter, I can try and give him a call again. Call it up first in the next block. But Thank you. Better be there or who's going to get a bench warrant. Is that it for that block? All right, that ends my, that was my 11 o'clock. It looks like his name, he is back on the screen. I don't know if we're going to try and call him again. James Johnson. Mr. Johnson, yeah, can you unmute? Yep. Yeah. I got him. Assistant Public Defender, Your Honor, on behalf of Mr. Johnson, we are requesting an adjournment in this matter. Mr. Johnson um, actually has a couple of other matters. I am drafting an email now to the prosecutors looking if we can get a global resolution, um, and then we hopefully will be able to resolve this at his PCC schedule for the 14th in front of you. Your Honor, this is actually part of a global resolution where he took a plea in 14A2 and we agreed to dismiss numerous cases between the state and the city. This is supposed to be a plea today where he's going to be pleading to the OWI. If that is no longer the case, then I will have to contact 14A2 to talk about his other, his other matters. This was discussed at length via email. Yeah, when uh, my last attorney, um, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, Mr. Johnson, just, I got you, but hold on. Counsel? I apologize, Your Honor. I was not privy to that email and it didn't show up in the notes. I didn't have contact with Mr. Johnson prior to today. He did log into the Zoom um, and I gave him my telephone number and we were able to speak during this hearing. I did not know about that um agreement. I can, Miss Kirby, do you know which person from my office you spoke with? Yeah, Mr. Johnson, who are you talking to? It's hold Mr. On. It's oh, Mr. Johnson, Meyer. Johnson, hold, hold on a second. What? Go ahead. It's Mr. Meyer from your office. 14A2. Is yeah, that who you, Mr. Johnson, is that who you were dealing with? I believe I did have Mr. Myers, but I, like I told Mr. Myers, I'm not accepting no DUI. Okay, so, so let me just try to figure this out because there was, do you, Mr. Johnson, you know anything about a global resolution to a bunch of other cases or anything? No, like that? it wasn't no global resolution. Only thing that I know about is I had some cases uh, in front of another misdemeanor judge. I believe it was Tabby. And uh, somehow, some way, 
somehow, some way, my um, a case left from his courtroom and went back over to, I guess, this courtroom. That's the only thing I know about. I, 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 which, which case? Which case was that? Do you know what the, what it was? No, I, I'm really not too for sure which actual case. I got so much going on right now, but. Mm -hmm. I, I told Mr. Myers that I'm taking that OWI to trial. I mean, I looked up Supreme Court law and stuff, so I want to take that to trial. I, it was just a, a, a state Supreme Court case that was, I mean, that was just Don't issued. Don't go into detail, Mr. Johnson. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Mr. Johnson already pled to two attempt RNOs, and I dismissed a trespass as part of this resolution. And then the city dismissed a DWLS, a trespass, and another DWLS and disorderly. Um, and then I was going to dismiss another trespass as well as the second count of this case. So if that is not the case, I will contact the city attorney and we will be reinstating all of those charges. Okay, so, well, I guess we're gonna have to- Mr. Okay. Johnson, hold, hold on, Johnson, hold on. Mr. Johnson, mm -hmm. please. Counsel, what do you have? I, I, again, Your Honor, I apologize for the mix up. We can either try and pass this matter. I am messaging Mr. Uh, Myers from my office now to see if he can bring me up to date on what's going on. I can have another conversation with Mr. Johnson, um, remind him of whatever that agreement was. Uh -huh. and then we'll Here's what I'm going to do because I don't know. He just dropped out of that. No, he's still here. He's, Mr. Johnson? He's on mute. We're. Yeah, I lost, I lost him. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Well, look, <laughs> I've heard two different things, at least, about what's going on. None of them seem to match what Mr. Johnson is indicating to the court. Somebody needs to figure it out so he knows what he's doing or not doing. Right. And so what I will do on this one, however it turns out, it turns out. I'll adjourn this to the 20th. I believe I got another court date on that date, but I'll check and where, see. Where? Uh, I believe it's, that's a Monday, correct? No. Oh, That'd be uh, Wednesday. Oh, no, I ain't got one. Okay, that's cool. April 20th, 2022, 9 a.m. or is a Zoom invite indicates. You guys figure it all out. Okay, thank you. Your Honor. Thank you. Is that it for that block? All right, that block is finished. Uh, I'll come back up for my new block shortly, folks. Court standing recess. Um, can my attorney call me? I will call you. All right, cool. Or calls the case of the people versus Devon McCord. Okay, he's iPhone four. Sir, you I, need to get somebody someplace stable where you've got good Wi-Fi connection because if you're walking around, you're breaking up on me. Okay, I'm sorry. If you stay right there, that was good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What are we doing on? What are we? Oh, he kept walking. See, oh. that's what I'm talking about. I tell you what to do, and you just keep walking. I'm just stay I'm right. Like, just, just sit. Stay right there. Okay. <laughs> Apologies okay, in advance. Listening. Okay. What are we doing? Apologies in advance, Your Honor. In this case, we would be requesting an adjournment as well. What's the reason for the adjournment? There is more discovery that we have requested. Okay, once again, this case started February 2nd. I do understand that, Wasn't Your Honor. Wasn't it requested before then? I, Your Honor, we do an initial discovery request, and it is inclusive of all media. Um, and Okay, so what has recently come up? The police report, Your Honor, speaks to a photo lineup. Um, as well as some video recording, and none of that was involved or included in the discovery that we received. April 20th, 2022, 9 a.m. Don continued. Okay, you got that, young man? Yes, thank you. Okay, have, you, you can, you, what'd you say? I said, thank you, have a good day. All right, now you can move. Go on, <laughs> I don't care anymore. All right, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor.